Hi guys, continuing with our Phi Data series. Today I have a special video for you. Today we are going to implement a YouTube video summaries app powered by Grok and built using Phi Data. I'll paste a link to this code book in the description and you can have a run. But basically what we need to do is to select the appropriate models from here, which is Llama 370B, Llama 3 8 billion, and uh, mixed drill 8, 7, 8 cross 7 billion. You can put in any number of models. You can select the appropriate chunk size. You just need to put the URL, video URL. So this is a video of mine, the last video. I just put in the URL and click on generate summaries. Then you can get the video here and you have the processed captions here. So all the captions uh, have been accepted and processed. And then we have this beautiful summary. We have the overview section, development of the RAG application here, then setting up the environment, installing the AMA and the Phi data. Uh, AMA is basically Olama, but you know, my pronunciation. Running the application here and then the takeaways. So the RAG application is just Llama 3, Olama. It identifies correctly and uh, Phi data to generate high quality reports and complex topics. The application can be set up using conda pip and the installation of this is a beautiful summary now before we move on to test it more let us start from the beginning let me close everything let us start from the beginning and let's see the magic so i have my visual studio code running here i'm going to close this as well so this is phi data the author of this phi data library is asprit berry Many, many thanks to you for giving me this opportunity to share this Phi data with my subscribers and viewers. So, so what I'm gonna do is copy this code, click on code, copy the URL. Then we are going to go to a particular folder where you are going to work. Then type CMD, press enter, and we have this CMD. Here I'm going to say get clone and paste in the link. This is going to download uh, all the files from this GitHub repo. Then we need to change this folder to Phi Data. And now what I'm going to do is go back to this folder which contains our file for this particular video. I'm going to copy the path here and I'm going to say change directory to that particular path. Next, I'm going to say code space dot enter. This is going to open up the Visual Studio Code Editor. And here I'm going to open up a new terminal. Uh, we know the drill. We need uh, an environment, a virtual environment to work with. So I'm going to see my list of environments that I have. So conda info dash dash envs these are the list of virtual environments that I have and then I am going to select the Phi Data environment. So I'm going to say, so we can activate the Phi Data environment using this command conda activate Phi Data. And if you are trying to create an environment, this is the command uh, conda create dash n Phi Data python equal to 3.11 dash y so this is the command that we that you can use to uh, make this um, phi data environment now we have this um, libraries and requirements.txt we're going to install all of these so pip install dash r requirements.txt this is going to install all these libraries which are mentioned in the requirements.txt file next we can have a look at the readme file, but uh, I'm going to repeat the steps uh, for you. So we have the assistant here. Uh, in the assistant, we have uh, two number of functions. First function or assistant is the get chunk summarizer. The next is, if you're going to minimize this, okay, the next is get video summarizer. So I'm just going to read through one of these um, assistant. 
So basically, it's a function here. We have the model. It's a string and the default value is this, llama 370 billion. Debug mode is a boolean, it's set to true. Then we return an assistant. So the assistant name is this, LLM uses this, description is you are a senior a New York Times reporter. Instruction is you'll be provided with the YouTube video link and information about the video. Pre-process summaries from junior researchers. Carefully process the information. Then we add uh, to system prompt uh, using dden function. Uh, we specify that we want to add this to the in, in this place. So then generate a final New York Wordy report in the report format provided below. So this is the format of the report. This is the video title will link. Then we'll have the overview. We add some sections here, key takeaways, and the report generated on your month, date, year, hours, AM and PM. We set the markdown to true, uh, add daytime to instructions, and debug mode is true. So these are the instructions. And the main app is this, where we set up everything, uh, starting from the page config of uh, Streamlit. We're using Streamlit as ST here. And we set the title, the markdown. This is the main function. We have the main function here. Inside the main function, we have sidebars where we can select the LLMs here. If you let me just run this. So the installation is complete now. For running this, we can just say, before we run this, we need to set the Grok API key. So I can say set Grok API underscore key is equal to put in the key. In order to get the key, we can go to Grok here and then go to API access. Then what you can do is go to playground on Grok API, then go to API keys. Then we click on create key and just put in some name. I'll click on submit, copy this and paste it here. So set Grok API key is this. That's done. Now you can just say streamlit run uh, app.py. This should start up a uh, streamlit on your local system and you're good to go. So what we can do now is once the load is set up, uh, I'll just explain what the features here. So you can select any model from here. These three are the models. A Llama 370 billion, Llama 38 billion, a mixed drill of 8 cross 7 billion. And you can see the code here. We can select any one of the models here. Then there are sliders, uh, which uh, this slider where we can um, put in or change the words in chunks. So let me keep uh, 6,000 characters of chunk. And then you need to put the URL here. And then you can just click on create summary. The summary will be created. Now we have this trending videos. So intro to large language model. This is the video uh, by Andrew Carpathy. Then we have this what's next for AI agents. This is this. This is this video of Harrison Chase. So I'm going to run this quote. Uh, just click here. What's next for AI agents. You know, in the background, we have uh, added the URL of this. Uh, of this video and therefore we don't need to enter any URL here so you can see what's next for Harrison uh, what's next for AI agents you see the overview understanding AI agents planning in UX memory and future development key takeaways and the report generated on the date time and everything so this video you can go back to the code and see that this is the link for that particular video so these are the defaults, uh, three numbers have been given in the sidebar. Uh, you can put in more defaults here, but this is how you get started so quickly in summarizing this uh, entire video, YouTube video, so long video. So you can see this uh, is about an hours long of video and even you can summarize that as well. So just click on intro to large language models. So it loads up the video here. It reads the captions here. So the captions have been read and then it is summarizing uh, summarizing the chunk one and trying to generate this. So we can see that the rate limit has exceeded for this. It's not possible, but we can try to reduce the rate limit here to let's say 3500 and then let's try to summarize this again. So you can build up on this. We have so many examples. I have collaborated with the founder of uh, Phi Data. Um, 
Ashpreet Bedi and I'm going to bring in more videos. Uh, so it is still summarizing. It's a long video because that's a one hour video and let's see if it is able to summarize this well. So that's, you know, a one hour of video. So let's wait for some time and then let's see. Okay, it was able to create the summary. So this is the name of the video. There's a YouTube link, overview, understanding large language model, then training and applications, fine tuning and reinforcement learning, scaling loss and future directions, security challenges, key takeaways. I mean, that's a one hour long video and that has been compressed so well uh, using uh, Grok. And the framework that we're using is Fidata. So I'm sure um, you like this uh, video. You like this simple implementation of using, you know, Grog and Fidata. It's so easy to create. Now you can, if you don't want to uh, listen, if you don't have time to listen to this entire video, if you just want to find out the summary of the video and justify and judge for yourself if that is a video you like to spend a one hour time, for example, this video, you can just put it in the summarizer, read the summary, and then decide uh, whether to so whether to view that video or not. So I'm going to bring in more use cases from Fidata, but I think this video should be it. So in this video, you'll learn how to use Fidata, how to use Grok to create our YouTube summarizer. So simply, it's so easy to get started nowadays with LLMs. Having said that, I think this should be the end of the video. Subscribe to my channel for more interesting content like this. Follow Ashpreet Bedi. I'll put a link in the description for all the materials that I've used to create this video. And I will see you next time. Support me on Patreon if you want to support me for all the work that I'm doing. And thank you everyone for joining with me today. I'll be back with more interesting content tomorrow. Thank you and have a nice day. Please watch this next video.